Hello, I'm Lee from Data Harvest. Today I'm going to show you our wireless Bluetooth pH sensor working with our EasySense 2 software just to show household chemicals. We have other videos already on our website. Uh, we have a titration one there already. Uh, but as I said, household solutions. It's a nice easy one to do. So, our pH sensor here is USB and Bluetooth like all our new wireless Bluetooth sensors are. To turn it on, you just hold the button down the bottom for two seconds. It starts to flash and we've now got, it's now broadcasting Bluetooth. Uh, also has a six digit number on the front. So when you go to our EasySense 2 software and you want to connect to one of our Bluetooth sensors, you'll click on there, it'll come up with the name of the sensor, i.e. pH, and then give you that six digit number. So you will not, hopefully, log on to somebody else's that you haven't, that you shouldn't do. If you do, it takes five seconds to disconnect and reconnect again, so it's ever so easy. So, now I'm gonna go and open the EasySense 2 software up. Now let's see if anybody else in here. We've got some other colleagues using some other stuff in the building as well, but we want the pH one and that one does finish on the N714. So we click connect. As I said, just takes a couple of seconds to actually connect. And we're now connected. So we now click away. Now for this experiment, I want to have two graphs. I want to have a bar chart on one side and I want to have a table on the other. So what I'm going to do to start off with though, I'm going to tell it to do run snapshot. What snapshot means is it's only going to take a reading when I click on take sample. I don't want continuous data, I don't want loads of readings, I just don't need those when I'm having a snapshot in three different places for this experiment. So I'm going to set the graph up as two graphs. The first one is going to be a bar chart. The second one is going to be a table which also has a comment box so I can then type in the solutions I'm doing. We have tap water, vinegar and cola. So we just have those three on there so that's all up and running. I now click the start button. So just in case I added one of the others before, there we go, little wash bottle just there. We'll go into water just there, give it a swish around. On the right hand side of the EasySense 2 software, it'll give you the live reading. So it takes about 20 seconds maximum before it settles. So it's going up 6.3, 6.4. There you go, slowing right down now. So there you go, 6.5, 6.6, we'll take a reading now. So it's now got that on there. So once you click take reading, you can take that out. Always wash it straight away. It'll just lay it down. Now with students, obviously you'll have one student doing that, another one doing the device, so you wouldn't necessarily have to put it down each time. So this one is tap water. So we'll type that into the box there. We now go to the next solution, which is vinegar. So you can see the live reading on the right hand side, 2.9, that's quite... <laughs> How different will it be to Coca-Cola? We shall soon find out. So there you go, that's gone down really quick. That's brilliant, so that's on there. So again, wash it. So we can now put in here, we can now type vinegar. And the last one we're going to do is Coca-Cola. So we now pop this in here. You notice I'm not clicking stop. It's running continuous because I can take as many snapshot samples as I like now. Now, would you believe the Coca-Cola is pretty much the same as the vinegar? Oh, that's rather worrying, isn't it? So we now take a sample. Just put that there. And we're now going to type in here now, cola. So we now have the three readings, the three bar charts. If I click stop now, it now auto scales and fills the screen with the bar charts as well. Now, of course, you could have lots of other ones. You could have some more tap water with vinegar in it, with lemon juice, whatever you wanted um, around the house. The whole point is, the whole point of our videos is to get you up and running, show you how easy it is to do it. You can then put whatever selection of sa or samples, solutions that you want to do in front of you. For lots more videos similar to this on all our Bluetooth sensors, please visit the website at data-harvest.co.uk. Search for Secondary Academy. It will take you then straight to our YouTube channel, which is split into three areas. It's how to use the Bluetooth sensors, how to use the Bluetooth sensors with the experiments, and thirdly, how to use the EasySense 2 software. If you have any uh, questions at all, please contact us here, sales at data-harvest.co.uk. Thank you very much.